Welcome to a short session introducing Trend Micro's Deep Security. My name is Udo Schneider and within the next few minutes I want to show you some key benefits of deep security in a VMware environment. Let's start with anti-malware. Traditionally anti-malware has been deployed on a per client basis. If you simply move over that concept into the virtualized world, this would mean installing an anti-malware agent into each and every virtual machine, thus replicating the needed resources in terms of CPU, storage and memory for each and every virtual machine. Leveraging VMware's featured Endpoint API in combination with Trend Micro's Deep Security allows you to provide agentless anti-malware. If you're using agentless anti-malware, then basically the hypervisor is providing the functionality of the traditional anti-malware agent. So you don't need to have an agent installed into each and every virtual machine. Instead, the hypervisor is providing that service. This, of course, also means that you don't need to replicate this amount of resources anymore. So you're basically freeing resources. This allows you to run something like 2.5 to 3 times the number of VMs on the same hardware if you compare agentless anti-malware versus the traditional setup where you install an anti-malware agent into each and every virtual machine. But let's just take a look. To be able to use agentless anti-malware, you need to install vSphere and ESX. You also need to install the vShield Endpoint Manager as well as deploy the vShield Endpoint Driver to your virtual machines. Once this is done, you can start deploying Deep Security 8. Start with the Deep Security Manager and integrate it into vCenter. This will allow you to fetch host information from vCenter. You also need to prepare the ESX host and install the filter driver. Once this is done, you can deploy the security virtual appliance and activate it from the Deep Security Manager. Deep Security's management revolves around the concept of profiles. Profiles define whether a feature is enabled and how it is configured. Profiles are assigned to a group of hosts sharing common security requirements. You can always have per host exceptions, but to ease management, this should be avoided. In this example, we use three different profiles, one for knowledge workers, one for power users, and one for traveling knowledge workers. This allows you to define settings individually for those three profiles and groups. You should also have different virtual machines for those user groups. Having those machines in different vSphere folders will also allow you to automatically assign a profile for dynamically started machines. One of the most powerful feature within Deep Security are so-called event-based tasks. These tasks allow you to automatically react to certain events within the system. We will use these tasks to automatically react to the creation of a new virtual machine. Create a task of type computer created. This task will automatically be triggered once a new virtual machine is created in vSphere. This happens thanks to the integration of Deep Security Manager into the vSphere backend. The next step is to specify the action. In our case, assigning a profile and activating the machine. There is a differentiation between assigning a profile and activation because a profile can be assigned although the machine is not yet capable of actually enforcing the profile, for instance because it has not yet booted up or because the VMware tools have not been started yet. The last step allows you to specify conditions under which this event-based task is run. This, for instance, allows you to assign a security profile just to a group of virtual machines within a specific vSphere folder. There are other conditions available, like the name of the ESX host, the name of the virtual machine, or the appliance protection status. The last page shows a summary of the configuration settings. Just press Finish to create this event basic task. One important thing to notice is the fact that the quarantine is not on the local agent, but instead stored on the security virtual appliance. Being agentless also means that there is no way for user interaction if a malware is found. This can be quite distracting for users and especially the help desk. To address this situation, Trend Micro offers a notifier. This is a piece of software installed into the actual virtual machine, which notifies the user with a balloon tooltip if a malware has been found or a malicious website has been accessed. The notifier uses the VMCI functionality to provide notifications to users. So please make sure that the VMCI API is enabled on both the virtual machine and the Deep Security Virtual Appliance. You should consider installing the notifier in your master image. This way, all the spawned VMs will automatically have the notifier installed and available. We just saw how Trend Micro's Deep Security provides agentless anti-malware protection for VMware environments. But there is even more. 
Let's take a look at web reputation. Web reputation prevents a user from accessing malicious websites. It also prevents a user or an application from uploading sensitive data to a drop zone. So instead of trying to catch a malware once it's already on the system, web reputation prevents the number one infection vector and this is accessing malicious websites. The other functionality is virtual shielding. Virtual shielding prevents a vulnerability from being exploited remotely. So although a system might not yet be patched, virtual shielding provides a shield around that system and prevents a vulnerability from being exploited remotely, thus giving you more time to patch the actual system within a scheduled maintenance window. Both of these functionalities are also agentless, so both functionalities are provided agentless from the hypervisor level as a service. Let's just take a look. Agentless web reputation, like agentless anti-malware, is configured on a per-profile basis. In general, you have the choice between three configuration profiles, low, medium, high, or the option to only allow well-known good sites. Those profiles can be applied to the user profiles configured earlier. Deep Security also includes an agentless deep packet inspection module. One functionality of this DPI module is virtual shielding, which prevent a vulnerability from being exploited remotely. Although Deep Security contains over 2700 different virtual shields for different applications and operating systems, only a fraction of them is normally applicable to any given VM. To make management easier, Deep Security includes a recommendation scan functionality. A recommendation scan will scan the operating system and the installed applications in a virtual machine and will give you recommendations which virtual shields should be activated or which virtual shields can be deactivated because the system has already been patched. We just saw how Trend Micro's Deep Security provides agentless anti-malware, agentless web reputation and agentless virtual shielding. But there is even more. Let's talk about file system integrity monitoring. File system integrity monitoring allows you to track changes to the file systems of your virtual machines. To prevent from being overwhelmed by the number of events, file system integrity monitoring differentiates between well-known good events and the rest. Well-known good events might be caused by service packs or updates or even your own software and everything else is flagged as being suspicious and this is definitely something that you might want to take a look at. Especially if you are running a parent VM and if this parent VM is used to spawn several child VMs, this is quite an interesting setup because every change in the child VM, which is not on the well-known good list, is definitely suspicious and is something that you should take a look at. You might have guessed it already, file system integrity monitoring is also a functionality which is provided in an agentless way by deep security. So file system integrity monitoring again becomes a functionality provided by the hypervisor without a running agent in the virtual machine. Let's just take a look at it. Stateless virtual machines are one of the major design goals of virtual desktop environments. This means that no user data is persisted within the virtual machine itself and that no software update is done in the virtual machine. Only the master image is being updated. This also means that every change to system settings or installed programs in a non-master image is something that you definitely want to take a look at. Similar to the recommendation scan for deep packet inspection, a recommendation scan for file system integrity monitoring will provide you with a recommendation for directories and files that should be monitored. As you might imagine, the number of events caused by a service pack, for instance, is huge. To make management easier, Deep Security has access to a so-called trusted event source. This allows you to whitelist well-known good events caused by service packs or applications, which help you to keep an overview about the really important events within your log files. We already covered quite a lot of benefits. We started with agentless anti-malware. Agentless anti-malware allows you to provide anti-malware services from the hypervisor level, thus allowing you to achieve a much higher VM density, up to three times the number of virtual machines if you compare the agentless approach versus an approach where you deploy an agent into each and every virtual machine. We continued with web reputation and virtual shielding. 
both agentless and both ways to actually prevent an infection from happening in the first place. Web reputation prevents a user, an application, or a virtual machine from accessing malicious websites, whereas virtual shielding prevents a vulnerability from being remotely exploited. Last but not least, we took a look at agentless file system integrity monitoring, which tracks changes to files within your virtual machines. All those features are made possible by the combination of VMware's APIs and Trend Micro's deep security. This allows you to keep your VM density quite high without any compromise on security. I hope that you found this session interesting. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask us. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.